Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It's another spectacular day here in Tokyo. I'm on my walk, my daily walk. Today, I am walking along Marunouchi Avenue. I'm not sure if that's the actual name, but I'll call it Marunouchi Avenue. And um, it's nice, I didn't know that they uh, blocked traffic at certain times of the day. I had no idea. Weekdays between the hours of 11 and 3 p.m. They block traffic to cars and on the weekends between 11 and 5 p.m. So isn't that interesting? I'm not sure if this is a seasonal thing But it's kind of nice What's great about springtime is that you can actually sit on one of these outdoor cafes because the weather is nice but look, you have the option of sitting outside on these chairs and tables that they put out. I love it. Look at this. And they have um, all these food trucks dotted along, along the street as well. I had no idea. This is a nice way to have lunch, I think. See? It's a little past lunchtime, so maybe it's... Maybe um, the seats are taken like during the peak hours of lunchtime. Hey, this is a new shop here. Marunouchi Hap Stand and Gallery. Hakko. What kind of shop is this? Hakko means fermentation. So maybe it's a shop that specializes in... Oh, it specializes in miso, guys. So they serve things like, like this. Like rice balls with miso soup. I'm loving this. Yeah, I really enjoy this. I want to come out here and have lunch. I should do that one day. Here's another uh, food cart here. Yeah, food cart. It's called a food cart, right? What is it called? Oh my gosh. People enjoying their lunch on the terrace. And Tokyo Station is to my right side, over there. We'll check it out later. I'm just excited that they have a pedestrian zone. I had no idea. I love it. Love, love, love. Urban Terrace Good Manners. So they call it Urban Terrace. So they tell you to make sure you disinfect your hands, keep your distance away from other people and take home your trash that's what it says here's another food truck this one sells soup and rice and what Singapore char siu rice how interesting is that hmm that actually smelled really good but I already had something to eat I think next time for lunch, I'm gonna try one of these food carts. The food looks pretty good actually. And I, I just love the fact that you can sit outside and all the tables are far from each other. It's really nice. They set it up really well, I think. Yeah. And this is pretty much the only time of the year that you can do that because summertime becomes super hot. Before summertime, it's rainy season. Like it pretty much rains all the time for like five to six weeks and then after that it's autumn which is great weather again but then autumn is a short season and then it becomes winter a long winter season so got to take advantage of this amazing weather so on my right side is Tokyo Station that's Tokyo Station and I am walking towards Nihonbashi. I want to go to Nihonbashi today. What I'm doing is I, I'm doing some research for Tabi Eats. We want to start filming outside again. But uh, we're a little bit scared to go into crowded restaurants. So yeah, I'm looking for places like uh, terraces, like the terrace that you saw today, the urban terrace where they set up the chairs and tables outside to eat. I'm looking for places like that. 
and I hear, let's cross, I hear that uh, the rooftop of the Mitsukoshi department store in Nihonbashi is, is a great place to enjoy a bento or something. I think it's a garden or something, so I kind of want to check that out. Never been there before. Anyway, hello Tokyo Station. I have so many memory, memories here. You guys remember those check-ins for, uh, for the teaser? I had to film here. I came to film here early in the morning. It was very cold, I remember. And I, I did, goodness, like 39 takes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to Nihonbashi. It's gonna be about a 15 minute walk, maybe 20 minute walk from here. See you guys in a bit. So look at this. Look at all these food trucks here. Food trucks. Oh my goodness, why can't I say food truck? I keep saying food truck. So yeah, I count five different food trucks here. This one is like a mala chicken, it's a Chinese chicken. And then this place has karaage, just fried chicken. There's some benches here you can sit on, like picnic benches. That's nice. This one is a like a beef bowl and then Shizuoka, Shizuoka cuisine interesting and this is Yoshinoya it's a Yoshinoya beef bowl food truck I've never seen one of those Wakiwabashi sorry Tokiwabashi Tokiwa bridge huh. but that bridge is nice too yeah I do wish there was no expressway above the river. Sometimes it's easy to think that um, Tokyo has no rivers or canals inside the city. But we do have a lot of water. It's just not commonly known. Okay, so we are near the uh, Mitsukoshi department store, but before we go there, let me show you this nice building here. If you come by limousine bus from Narita Airport, you would usually pass by this building. Of course, you're looking from the expressway. Ah. And these look like they are cherry blossom trees they haven't blossomed yet though I don't know if you can see but there are some flowers on the branches hard to see though but I believe this used to be a bank in the olden days I wish I could go inside to see the interior of this building that would be so interesting you know but I think it's closed to the public. Alright guys, as soon as you cross the street, this is the block that Mitsukoshi department store is built on. It's the entire block. It's one of the oldest, if not the oldest, department store in Japan. I believe it's the oldest. Yeah, I think it's the oldest department store in Japan. Anyway, let's go inside from the main entrance. So you see the building is very old but I love old buildings I love how intricate the old buildings are nowadays it's just mostly glass but you see even here you see all this like carving on the wall I love it all right we've come to the main entrance of the Mitsukoshi department store so I think I would like to go inside and we'll check out the roof garden. Nihonbashi Tan, Japanese garden. Let's check it out. Oh, pretty. Oh, look at this. It's very nice. Look at all the seating area here. Lots of places to sit. All right, let's take a walk around the garden, shall we? Oh, I like this. 
You know, I've never been here before. The reason why I know about this place is through another YouTuber. Oh, there's a stage here. I wonder if they do shows here. There are stones. Ah, sakura da. Sakura, sakura. Vending machines if you're thirsty. Ah, oh, pretty. Oh, this is. What is this? Kusasotetsu. No, this is Sakura. Sakura da. Hello. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Hey, we got to see some Sakura trees. Some Sakura flowers. Ah. A lot of bees. Pretty. Kirei da ne. Oh. And there's a shrine here. There's a little shrine. Omoshiroi. Interesting. I look at this um, open space here. You can't go inside right now though. I guess they don't want people having like Halloween parties since this year it is strongly discouraged. And then what's this? Is this like a bonsai store? I think so. Interesting. They sell bonsai here. Hey, oh my goodness. Do you know how much this is? This is like a thousand dollars for this one plant. <gasps> Expensive. Wow. Oh, this sakura bonsai is nice. Hey, I wonder how much that is. Well, this is about a hundred dollars. It's not too bad. Bonsai, I mean, you know, a bonsai takes a lot of effort and time and care. Oh, I do like that sakura tree. I should get one this year and then I can look forward to it next year. Wow, it's nice. What a lovely garden. I love it. There's so much green here. There's all these different plants and there are plaques on the plants so you know what you're looking at. So great for plant enthusiasts. Oh, pretty. Nice, isn't it? Kind of looks like miniature grapes. Eh. Glad I came here. You know, I came to do some research, of course, to walk my 20,000 steps a day. Um, I wanted to see how nice this place was, if there were ample seating, and there really is. And so, um, you know, we can go buy some food at one of the nice restaurants in this neighborhood. There's many of them, and they all do takeout now. But we can enjoy it here, and we can show you guys over on Tabi Eats, or even on this channel, to be honest with you. From there, I walked about 20 minutes, yeah, about 20 minutes, and I finally found this area. I'm not really sure the name of this area is, but um, it's, a, it's an up and coming area. It's quite trendy, I guess, but still not many people know about this area. Um, this used to be um, a place where it was pretty much dead other than business hours. The Tokyo Stock Exchange is here. Actually, this is a Tokyo Stock Exchange and there are like banks and stuff. But now they've um, converted this um, old building. I'm not sure what it used to be into like a boutique hotel and they have some craft brewery places and um, kind of like a, I get like a, like a hot spot right now in Tokyo. This is the K5 Hotel and I definitely want to stay in here one of these days. 
It looks pretty cool. I just want to show you this street. It's quite special. I tried to come here before with Satoshi, but it was so crowded. Anyway, um, yeah, these two shops right here, right? They look like very ancient buildings. They are, but this one has been converted into a modern craft beer bar and it's pretty funky on the inside. And right next door, it, this building used to be a unagi restaurant way back in the day, but now it's called Human Nature and it's a wine shop and bar. You can also get coffee as well. Yeah, here. You see, it used to be like this. Matsuyoshi was an unagi restaurant in uh, 1923. Yeah, up until 2018 and then in July of 2020, um, it's been converted into this like uh, coffee wine bar. It's pretty cool. And this place is located just um, just like a minute away from that hotel, K5, I was just talking about. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Yo, Takimos. Mm-hmm. <laughs>